Okay, we are here with Alessio and we've got an Achilles rupture today, but this one's been repaired. So Alessio has ruptured his, his Achilles tendon in half and he did that playing basketball. Um, and most of the time these things happen because of a previous injury, but for Alessio has simply ruptured because he was a little bit under condition perhaps to the sport. Um, it wasn't doing basketball a lot when he played a game and went off for a sprint and when he sprinted, because his cars have been quite tight, when he sprinted it just ruptured in half. Um, now he's had to go in for straight away for surgery and they've repaired that. You can see they've come in on the side here and repaired that. Um, now as you'll notice, if you look at this one, now that he's, he's now six weeks post-surgery, can see the size of that Achilles, that's a normal Achilles. Can you now see the thickness of this one? Now of course that's a bit swollen in his ear as well, but it'll also be thickened and it'll probably stay thickened, it'll get less um, thick, it'll be thinner and thinner, thinner, but it'll stay a little bit thicker than that one probably permanently. Some people they get back to normal, but most of the time they are a little bit thicker, which is fine, it's just that uh, we've got to get the strength there from uh, the other side. Now you can see on him, can you see the calf difference here? So here's his right calf on this one. Can you see how he's lost a lot of bulk here, which is classic. Okay, this always happens to people, they lose all their bulk here. And this is what takes the six months to build up, as well as the tendon strength. Now he's been, if you look at this one, he's been in this boot here. Now this is a pretty special boot, this one. The first two weeks, three weeks, first two weeks he was in a plaster and now he's been in the boot. And you can see in this boot here, he's been able to adjust how much dorsiflexion he has. So he started with plantar flexion, they slowly moved him to get to zero degrees dorsiflexion, which is great. But he's still got to stay in this boot for another two weeks. Um, but he's allowed to go swimming, and we're going to get him on the bike. But he's not going to be doing any weight bearing stuff. So he won't be standing on one leg, won't be doing any calf raises just yet. He's got the point where he has to do um, basically non weight bearing movement stuff. So we've been getting in here. And this is day one, I've seen him today. We've been getting in and mobilizing the scars, which is really important. You can get some bio oil in here and, and get that scar moving and make sure that moves around. We've been mobilizing and getting that soft tissue working because remember, this has been stuck in stasis for six weeks. It's going to be tight. He's also really tight through the joint, which we're going to get into in a moment as well. Mobilize that whole ankle joint to loosen it up so he gets more and more dorsiflexion because we, we want to get all that soft tissue stiffness gone so he can mobilize a little bit better because in two weeks guess what he's walking and he's walking without the boot so he needs all the soft tissue loosened up and all the joint tissue and capsule loosened up here so he can actually get the range to be able to do that and so that's why the next couple of weeks he's going to be swimming and on the bike and doing a lot of active work with the TheraBand he's going to be doing some stretches with the towel um, in preparation for that two week point where we take the boot off and he gets stuck into it and away we go.